Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. McGahee. It's Friday, May the 1st. I can't believe it's the beginning of a brand new month. So today I thought we would do a little bit of our opening circle and a little bit of a carpet lesson. So let's get started. Here we go. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning, dear friends. Good morning to you. Now, since we can't be together, we can't do our other, oh, here we are together at Dr. F.J. School song, I found a different song, and it's called Hello Song, and it goes like this. Here we go. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you today? I am fine and I hope you are too. I am fine and I hope you are too. I am fine and I hope you are too. I'm fine and I hope you are too. There you go, guys. Okay? So let me put my instrument down, okay? Give me one second. All right. Okay. Good morning. It's time to rise. Stand up and wipe your sleepy eyes. Reach up and stretch for the sky. Hold your hands way up high. Bend your body and touch the ground. Stand up straight now. Turn around. Point to your eyes, point to your nose. Jump up and down and touch your toes. Clap your hands and stomp your feet. Let's start the day. Don't find your seat. Folding our hands in prayer, right hand in the air. Let us bless ourselves. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, be with me through this day. Keep me safe at school and away. Watch the places where I play. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the... Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Make a circle, make a circle, make a circle like the sun. Make a circle, make a circle, make a circle like the sun. Good job. Okay, you guys, let's do our poem, I Dig. Ready? I Dig. That's the title. Here we go. I dig, 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 and I plant some seeds. I rake, 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 and I pull some weeds. I wait and I watch and soon you know my garden sprouts and starts to grow. Good job, you guys. All right, here we go. Do you know the fish and muffin man, the fish and muffin man, the fish and muffin man? Do you know the fish and muffin man who likes to sing with me? Oh, he likes the letters F and M, the letters F and M, the letters F and M. Oh, he loves the letter F and M and likes to sing with me. Good job, you guys. F makes one sum. Good, and we know M makes one sound. Mm, 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 mm. Good job, you guys. All right, on your bumpers. Here we go. All right, so I know you love this book as much as Mrs. McGahee does. 
Q is for duck. Yeah, we love this book, right? So let's review about seven of our letters today, okay? Here we go. What's the very first letter of the alphabet? A, that's right, okay. A is for zoo. Why? Do you remember that one? That's right, you know, because animals live in the zoo. That's right, good. A makes two sounds, A and A, ah, A, ah, A. Ah. What comes after A in the alphabet? Think about it. B, that's right. B is for dog. Why? Think about what dogs do. You remember? That's right. Because a dog barks. Bark, 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 bark. Good. Oh, and B makes one sound. B, 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 B. And you already saw what comes after B, right? Good. C is for hen. Why? Think about it. Do you remember that one? Because a hen clucks. Cluck, 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 cluck. Right? And C makes two sounds. S, 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 and K, 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 K. A soft sound and a hard sound. Oh, and I think you know that D comes after C. It's on the same page. Okay, D is for mole. Why? Hmm, think about it. This one might be tricky because a mole digs. Ah, oh, it's silly. Because a mole digs. D makes one sound. D, 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 right? Good. And E, O, E is for whale. Why? Hmm. Remember? It was that really, 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 really big word. Mm, think about it. You remember? That's right, you've got it. Because a whale is enormous. Is enormous like this big? No, Miss McGahee. Enormous is really, 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 really big, right? Yeah, that's right, you guys. E makes two sounds, E and E, E, E. What comes after E in the alphabet? That's right, F. F is for bird. Why? Think about what a bird does. You've got it. Because a bird flies. And remember our dude in the airplane? No. Does a bird fly airplanes? <laughs> no, that doesn't make sense, does it? No. Good. And we know that F makes one sound. <laughs> That's right. Oh, and we already see what comes after F. G is for horse. Why? Hmm. Think about what a horse does. You've got it. Because a horse gallops. That's right. Good job. And G makes two sounds. J, 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 and G, 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 G. Soft sound and a hard sound. Well done, my friends. Okay, that was the first part of our lesson. Now, the second part of our lesson is that we've been learning a little bit about relational concepts. Okay, and I've got a few more here today. Okay, so I'll move a little closer so you can see. On, off, on, off. The butterfly is on the flower and the little green dude is turning off the light. On, off. Good. The second one, near, far, near, Far. The little puppy and the kitty are near the dish, and that tree is far in the distance. 
near bar. Good. This one, in, out, in, out. The alligator is in the water and the dolphin is jumping out of the water. In, out. And the last one for today, up, down, up, down. The pencils are pointing up and the lady and the gentleman are coming down the escalator. Connection, connection, connection. I'm having a connection about an escalator from a book that we read. It's about a little bear. He lost the button off of one of his overall straps. Hmm, do you remember? What was his name? Corduroy, that's right. Yes. And remember he stepped onto the onto the escalator and he said, Oh, this must be a mountain. I know I've always wanted to climb a mountain. Good job, you guys. All right. And the last part of our lesson today is a little bit of a rhyming game, okay? And it's a body part rhyming game. So I'm going to point at my head, okay? And I'm going to say some words that rhyme with head and some words that maybe don't rhyme with head, okay? So I'm on a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Thumbs up if they rhyme. Thumbs down if they don't rhyme. That's right. Okay, let's get started. Head red. Head red. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. That's right. They rhymed. Good. Let's try this one. Head red. Head bread. Do they rhyme? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up, that's right, good. Okay, here we go. Head, door, head, door. Hmm, tricky, think about it. Hmm, no, they don't rhyme. Good job, you guys. All right, let's pick a different body part. Hmm, I got it, I. Let's think about that, I. Spy. I spy. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Yeah, thumbs up. Good job. Okay, here we go. Listen very carefully. Listen. I frog. I frog. Hmm. Thumbs down. They don't rhyme. Good. Now this time, I'm going to give you a clue for the word that rhymes with I. Okay, I, and this is something that when we look up, we see. Ooh, what could it be? When you look up outside, what do you see that rhymes with I? What is it? Sky, that's right. I, sky, thumbs up. Well done, my friends. Well done. It's the magical time of the morning. And you know that means playtime. That's right. You guys have worked really, really hard. I'm so proud of all of you. Keep up the good work with all that we send out to you um, on the website each week and in our newsletter. Keep working hard. I want you all to have a wonderful and safe weekend. And... I miss you all so very, very much. And I'm sending lots and lots and lots of virtual hugs. Okay, so I'm going to sign off for now. Take good care. Bye, guys.